Hello everybody, welcome to my weird and wonderful world and as some of you may may know or may not know I am a Patreon with a Larry Graves. I watch his channels, I watch his uh, Larry Graves ASMR, he goes by the name of Canadian Stud Muffin and he's he's one of my favorite channels that I like to watch. I watch everything he puts out, I comment as much as I can, I don't always comment but I try. and. Today is his birthday. It's his 66th birthday, and I want to wish him a huge happy birthday. And this episode is all about him. I, I, I'm going to talk about Larry Graves. I'm going to ramble a little bit. I'm going to talk about our my in, how he inspires me and, and all this good stuff. So, I'm going to kind of get into it. So, I... Since I, I made a video yesterday letting you guys know that I was going to do a video today. And in about a, maybe about an hour and 45 minutes from now, give or take, I'm going to be going and joining into a live chat with Larry Graves. It's at, uh, it's at uh, I think it was, he said, 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So... So you can you can if you want to watch his channel going up with them and yeah we're going to live birthday broadcast now thanks to uh, Larry Graves I have also discovered some other channels okay um, I'm beyond the trash talkers this is not about the trash talkers this is all about Larry Graves he's the second channel I, I Patreon and because of Larry Graves I I just I, I discovered all these other channels that I like. And some, okay, some I watch more than others for sure. There's others I need to catch up on or or that I, I just don't see any videos of them very often. So I don't get a chance to watch their channel. But I am, but I am subscribed to everybody here. And I, 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 I always watch Steve. I always watch Glenn. I always watch Alex and, and Massey's main entertainment. Well, I need to catch up on you. There's a lot I, I need to catch up on. I, um, I'm due to binge watch you very, very soon. There's a lot I need to catch up on. And I will. I want to. And your Cycle Platter, I do check you out every once in a while. I, I wish I could check you out a little bit more often. And I will. I'll, I'll, I'll do my best. But, that's, but just to say this is all because of Larry Graves. Uh, and yeah. There's because he opened up a big old world of uh, of connections and and cool content that I'm very interested in. I love watching people who has a uh, who loves their music and and having is basically having them can try is them convincing me that why they like the music that they like and sometimes okay. I do love the music they're talking about. Sometimes I don't love it as much. But I love all the variety. It's all about the variety. And that's the cool thing about uh, Larry Graves is that I can I have a I have a very decent understanding of what he likes and uh, musically his musical taste that is. And and when I try to give him uh when I try to give him for the Patreon, when I give him a song to review and give a letter grade to, I'm like I'm always trying to cater to his taste rather than throwing him stuff that just that just not just anything. I'm very very cherry picking what I want to send Larry Graves to review because I want him to enjoy the music. I really do. I respect his opinion. I respect his channel. I'm um, I'm always going to be a fan for as long as I, you know, as as long as, yeah, I I will be a fan for for quite a while. I, I'm pretty sure of that. Now, what as I said yesterday, what made me want to to check out Larry Grace is is his uh his ranking his ranking of all the Sparks albums. When I f first became a Sparks fan, and and I was going to be getting Sparks no matter what, but thanks to, but yeah, thanks to Larry and thanks to Sparks for being such an awesome band. It, it 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 for me, I think that was a major connection into sharing a, into sharing a you know a passion for music. And that's what this is really all about. It's all about sharing a passion for music 
and Larry Graves, you know, that 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 cool guy that I that I like watching and interacting with as much as possible because he is a cool guy, you know. It's just a lot of respect. I just have so, so much respect for what he does and 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 the kind type of channel that he runs and that I'm inspired. I am inspired for sure. And because of Larry, you know, it kind of accelerated my my need to getting some uh, some Beatles stuff. Now, before watching Larry Graves' channel, this is pretty much the only cha the only uh, set of CDs I had of uh, of the Beatles, and I was somewhat somewhat a little bit content on on, on that. But after after really listening to Larry Graves and and his thoughts on the Beatles and watching all his stuff that he, you know he talks when where he talks about the Beatles, it just opened up my you know my appreciation for them and yeah and just yeah so again I I want to thank Larry Graves on his on his wonderful sixty sixth birthday. To opening my eyes to Beatles, the Beatles, and this is an awesome album. I'm not sure which one is my favorite album yet. I'm, I still have to decide that. Once I, I, I will be getting more Beatles albums, but yeah, I like this one. I, uh, I ended up getting this one, this one. Oop, upside down. Yeah, there we go. And this, this, uh, yeah. This little bootleg. I get this bootleg is not an official Beatles release. It's a, it, it is 100% a bootleg, but I love the songs that are on it. You know, it has it has such a great mix of "You Can't Buy Me Love," "From Me to You," "Please Please Me," "Do You Want to Know a Secret," "I Want to Be Your Man," "No Reply," "Honey Don't," "Words of Love," "Mr. Moonlight," and "I Love Her." You really got a hold on me, yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty good mix. I don't. It doesn't bother me that it's not an official uh, Beatles stuff because I will be getting all the Beatles studio albums, and then whatever peripheral I can get after that will be bonus. But uh, at least if I can get all the studio albums, I, I I'll be happy. I'll be happy. So yeah. So that is that. So I want this episode to be just kind of talking about a few of, uh, of Larry Gray's favorite topics, which is, of course, the Beatles and Sparks. And, and also, I want to add, before I continue on with that, that... Because of Larry Graves, I mean, I was aware of it, and I was, I would have gone back eventually and probably sampled some more of this, but thanks to Larry Graves, he he got me to look into certain other bands, and I got these particular ones because of Larry Graves and and his influence on me with the, his musical knowledge. This was the first one I get. This was at. Okay, this, I had already heard this album like uh, at least a decade earlier when I was living up in Montreal, so I was aware of this album. This was the only album I had known and heard of uh, of the Moody Blues. So when it came time to come around, just when when Larry Graves was talking about the Moody Blues again, it kind of got me, yeah, okay, if I see this album, I want to pick it up, and then, boom, there it was, and it was not a bad price at all, so I picked it up, and I love it. This one here has all that special edition stuff, the special bonus tracks and everything, so I'm happy with it. I don't even listen to the bonus tracks much. When I put it on, I'll program it just for the, for the album itself and, and enjoy that. But then I went out and also got this one too. So I ended up getting two Moody Blues albums. And I'm not as crazy for this one as I am for uh, On the Threshold of a Dream. On the Threshold of a Dream for me is, is quite a bit better than this. Um, uh, I don't mind symphony orchestra stuff in the, in the right context. I mean, yeah, no, it's good. I will be listening, needing to listen to this again soon. 
In fact, I'll probably uh, put it, be putting it in my heavy rotation there, which I will be doing a video in the next in the next few days of, where I'll show you what's in my uh, heavy rotation box. It has changed around, so uh, I'll let you know what's in there. But this will be going into it for sure. And again, thanks to Larry Graves for opening my eyes to uh, to the Moody Blues and getting me and accelerating my need to get it and wanting to get it. And so again, of course, because of Larry Graves, he started talking about this band, and then it'll say, "Well, I, I need at least to get a greatest hits." So, so I ended up getting this because of Larry Graves, and I don't regret it. I, I love it, and I, I'm probably again need to play this n not not too distant future, very soon. I need to listen to this again. And then, of course, also because of Larry Graves' channel and a lot of the talk going around, and I, I was seeing this album, so I ended up getting Yes, Fragile, which I actually really like. And again, to repeat myself, I'm gonna I'm gonna need to listen to this again very very soon. So yeah, so uh, at least a couple of those will be going in my heavy rotations. And I will be listening to those again. But yeah, so most of these Beatles, and then during that time, because when I first first started listening, to, uh, when I first started watching Larry Graves' channel, it was, uh, where did that go? Where did that disappear to? It's, I had that here a minute ago. Did I put that down somewhere? Oh no, it's, it's, it was just misplaced. So yeah, so all I had, yeah, all I had was that album. I first started watching Larry Graves, and then from then on, I then I got, uh, and then I got that second. That was the second, my second purchase, and then I got, uh, what was it next? Yeah, it was that that came next that I bought, and was it, was it this? I think I if it wasn't this it was it was that for yeah I think that was next that I bought and then it was that 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 no that 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 uh that hippopotamus and then the last thing I bought was that yeah yeah so, so yeah, I bought Kimono first, then Propaganda, then the Steady Drip, 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 and then the girl is uh, crying in her latte, then the Gratuitous to Saxon and Senseless Violence, then the Sparks, Sparks, the self-titled, then the uh, Hippopotamus, and then the Hello Young Lovers. I bought it in uh, in that order. But yeah. All again, all thanks to Larry Graves. So, again, I want to wish a huge thank you to Larry Graves and a happy, happy 66th birthday. I, I just hope you're, I hope you get everything you deserve because you deserve a lot of good things. Yeah, you're a good person, and I'm, and yeah, I'm happy to be able to. To help you on on Patreon, because you you brighten my day with those grades, and and talking about those, I'm just gonna briefly mention this, okay? Because because now I I, I don't want to criticize Larry, because I, I just want him to be honest, really honest. But I think when I did my little episode where I was talking about his grading of my request, and I'll and yeah, you 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 can you know where to find that. Ah, uh, you can find that link. Yeah, he he. I think he realized how many A's he was giving me, and he didn't want to spoil me too much. And he want and I know he wants to be more fair with everybody else, and not just kind of. But I know, okay, I know I am throwing you gold. I know I'm throwing you some of the best stuff that I know that I know you would like. And, and, 
I, I know you want to give me a higher grade, but you just can't let yourself do it because of, you know, yeah, you, it, you want to be fair to everybody else, too. So when you, both those A minuses, okay, for the musical interlude, Shadowy Countdown from Shadowy Men of a Shadowy, on a Shadowy Planet, and the, and the Joe Satri, Trani Big Bad Moon that I showed you, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure you wanted to give me a little bit of a higher grade. I'll take the A minuses. It's still in the A's. I love that, and and I'm not gonna take it away. But I can tell by the look on your face when you're reviewing those that you wanted to give a higher grade, but you just couldn't. And I understand why. I am not. I am not condemning you for it at all. It, I like it. It just kind of tickles me. So, but that's my speculation. That's just my opinion. And how I think of it. I, I I could be wrong. I could be wrong. That might be honestly what he what he thinks about it. But that was just my thoughts on that. I, I as you see, I'm I'm marking them down the, the, all the new ones since my last video there. And when I hit the fifty, when I hit fifty at the fifty mark, I'm going to take off from is from twenty eight. It'll be from twenty eight to to fifty, uh, and uh, and I'll do a video where I'll talk about those. Just to let you know, I'm keeping. I like keeping track of that because I think it's interesting what he's going to grade those particular songs. So I want to make sure I have a chance to post this video and get a chance to prepare myself to join him at. Uh, well, it'll be three o'clock his time, three p.m. Yeah, three p.m. his time, four o'clock my time, four p.m. my time. And I want to make sure I'm already in situated because I want to join in and and I will be able to join in and and focus on this for at least a full hour. I want to make sure I get something to eat. I haven't eaten anything yet. Uh, yeah, I want to make sure I have something to eat and I want to get ready and I want to. Yeah, I'm looking forward to joining in his little uh, his little birthday uh, live stream on his on his main channel. I think I'm pretty sure it'll be the Canadian Stud Muffin channel. So yeah, so uh, I want to see as many of you guys out there on his uh, on his channel as possible if you can. So I'll be looking for you guys there. So I'm going to let you go so I can start getting all this stuff ready. And like I said, I will be there. So please, everybody, have a great day or night or or evening or morning wherever you may be. Be safe, take care, I will see you on the flip side. Peace everybody and happy birthday Larry. Peace.